Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wandering Village where we're going to pause the game because I want to look at the world map. Oh boy, it's a desert. Alright, uh, the reason I sound so concerned is because we're on veteran difficulty and if you've seen my Twitch stream, uh, you've known that my experience with veteran difficulty doesn't tend to go well for me. We do have a lot of berry bushes up here, though. Holy cow. All right, that might bode well. Especially if we're going into a desert, we're going to be relying on berries for a little bit. 76% there, and if we did this, we could do 71. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a berry gatherer there. Put a berry gatherer there. Hopefully they'll overlap enough to absolutely fill up with berries. We'll also put in some tents. I'll just stick them here for now. It doesn't necessarily need to be an issue. I know those are mother trees. I think we're going to have probably better placed other ones. There's a lot of rocks over here. We'll at least be setting up near the front, too, so let's clear out a lot of these trees. Let's clear out a lot of these rocks. I'm gonna spend some time setting up. We also want to set up research because holy crud research is gonna be important. So I'm going to make sure we get that in as well. We might actually put some research right by our, our berry collectors, honestly. I'm tempted. I think I'll put it right over here. I think I will do two research buildings because the faster we can research, the better. I just think that's going to be a good idea. So I'm going to turn them loose. We'll let them get to work and uh, hopefully this goes better than the last time. Well, the good news is we've started off on our journey and we've already got nomads up ahead. Bad news is we're headed into a desert, so I haven't really even bothered to build air wells or any of that sort of thing. I am going to chop down all of these as well. Those berry bushes will give us some food. We might have more berry bushes over here that we could eventually farm too. I think I'm just going to go very heavily into berries to try and get food for us. Because it's less things that I have to put energy towards developing right away. And I think... I can't put the kitchen there. We'll find somewhere else to put the kitchen. Maybe we'll put the kitchen down here instead. We've got a promising area on the map ahead here. We've got nomads in either direction, which is good, because it doesn't matter where Anbu goes then. We've also got a ruined settlement, and we are in the process of building a scavenger hut. So we might be able to visit that. That's better than what I've seen. It's not a half bad start, even though it is in the desert. Oh, we went right through a sandstorm. I didn't even notice, but yeah, that's unfortunate. At least... What is up here? At least we should get through it before it passes back again. You can just keep getting hit by them. Oh, that's a... No, that's the dune there. This is a sleeping spot, I think. Yes, it looks like it. I hope we find it a feeding spot soon, because Anbu is getting a little bit hungry, and I don't really like that. Also, all of our poor villagers are homeless at the moment because we're trying to switch from tents to uh, huts, but the supplies have been a little bit slower than I would have liked them to be. We probably should put in the horn blower now that we have it unlocked. I think I'll stick it, like, right up here. We don't necessarily... well, oh, how do I want to route these paths is the question. Maybe we'll run it around alongside the bottom of that. It's gonna be the herbalist. And run it up here. We can put some more scavenger huts or something when we get this. Because I definitely want to have the horn blower there. I think that's gonna be important. Oh, we've gone up this way. We at least got nomads here. We did unlock the Ambu kitchen. We're working on, I think, the feed. Yeah, the feeding trebuchet. So we should at least be able to feed Anbu, which is good. That's gonna be important. However, we don't have a mycologist yet. I'm torn on whether or not we're gonna need one because I like to see if we can get enough for first feeding just from these mushrooms. 
but I'm also not sure we should bet on that. It might be better... This is a struggle that I ran into on Twitch. It might be better to just put one in at some point relatively soon here. If we don't see food for a little bit, uh, then I'm going to probably just do that. Oh, oh, there would have been nomads crossing this way too, but we would have had to time it. And our party is back. Okay, oh, well, they got bread at least. That's good. Let's get some, hopefully, mushrooms, but maybe wood as well. Not sure if we're going to get hit by this sandstorm or not. I think we probably will, because Anbu's not super fast. Also, we're coming up on some interesting things here. We might want to try to put the horn blower. Do we get the horn blower done? No, it's still being built. I'm going to prioritize that, because... Ideally, well, ideally we go through here and then run. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I don't think we're going to make it. If we do, it's going to be by the skin of our teeth, but I don't think so. That air well is going to just go right down. No, probably not. Alright, is that air well going to break immediately? We just put one in. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh, and the berry gatherer too, no. It's a good thing we at least have plenty of food. Oh, and there's so many shrines around, that's what we like to see. Oh, Anbu has chosen to go south at least, that's good for us because it means we'll get more nomads, but we will have to be mindful of that sand. Something we definitely have to watch out for. I think I would also like to put in the feeding trebuchet, we can actually fit that. Well, that might cut into the berry bushes though. I think if we put it and start something down here. Yeah, we'll start a little area down here, I think. We can put the feeding trebuchet. And if we run a, a dirt road around it, then we will have a good place to put the mycologist, which I think is right here. Because I do think we're going to have to start growing some of our own food. I might also put in another berry gatherer at some point. Gosh, I looked up and I saw Umbu's health and I realized when we were in the dunes, that took away a good 20% of his health. Holy cow. It's a good thing we're starting to farm herbs because we're really going to need that Anbu doctor if we're not careful here. Let's, uh, like, let's get rid of those. Let's see if we can find somewhere to put the Anbu doctor because uh -huh, I think we're going to need him. Also, the village doctor. Another one we're gonna need here. Uh-oh. Alright, we really need to prioritize food for Anbu now. I was hoping we'd find a feeding spot. The problem is there's uh, so many things that need our attention. At least we can heal him soon once we get the Anbu doctor, which has not even started to be built. Okay, this is great. We're in resource heck right now. Well, the population at least is growing and we do have our horn blower. We've got quite a few people who are unemployed as well, which is kind of good because that means we're going to have enough people to do odd jobs. I'm just trying to work on getting the resources to finish building this, finish building this. We've got a lot of things that we need and not a lot of time to get them. Hopefully we still find a feeding spot because this could be bad. There's a feeding spot. This could save us. Oh, goodness. I really want those nomads, but I think it's better if Anbu goes south. I actually originally urged him to go north, but you know what? I'm glad we saw the feeding spot, because I think that's going to be better. There's good things on whichever route he takes, but one of them means not starving, which would be ideal. Oh, Anbu. At least we'll get nomads this way, but... Oh, the feeding spot... I really wanted that feeding spot. We just gotta hope we finish up here sooner rather than later. Oh, there's a feeding spot this way too. We're saved. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, now I'm glad we didn't go south after all. Oh, thank goodness. I think we're gonna be okay. We can stop stressing as much about it. Maybe focus more on the houses. That said, it's still very good that we're gonna get this done. Although Anbu is losing health. Um... Maybe we want to prioritize the doctor as well. The problem is I think I'm getting them to split their um, 
split their energy. No, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna prioritize the the feeding trebuchet and the uh, ombu kitchen here because that I think is gonna be the most important because we can at least stop his health from decreasing and then we can heal him. Hopefully he'll stop. He may not stop to rest, but he'll probably stop to eat. Oh, this is not good. Anbu is limping. The trebuchet is close, though, and I think we're producing planks fairly quickly. In fact, I think I'll bump these up now that we have more people. we just got to make sure we can continue to bring in enough materials to make it worth it. But I think we're getting close to that point. Got to make sure we're gathering some rocks as well. Just want to make sure, because as long as we can get a little food in him, that'll buy us some time. Oh, buddy, hang in there. You're almost to the feeding spot, too. Anbu has stopped to sleep, and we're really, really close. This is not the best, not gonna lie. Um, I really want to make sure we get this first. Don't you guys complain about food right now. Anbu's food is more important at the moment, sorry to tell you. Uh, I'm gonna reduce the staff here because we don't need to produce it quickly. We just need to make sure that they get this done. Oh, goodness gracious, this is cutting it close. If we die right before getting to a feeding spot, I'm going to be upset. I'm gonna be real upset. <laughs> it's constructed, okay. All right, Anbu. Anbu, uh, Anbu, hold on. The doctor's still under construction. We need food. We need you guys to move the food now. Please tell me someone's moving the food. We have food. I need someone to move it. Oh, somebody's got food. Somebody's got food. Terry! Terry, please, you're the hero of the village if this works. Oh my goodness, Terry, please. I'm begging you to walk as fast as you humanly possibly can. Please, feed the boy. Feed the boy. This We have to do this. We have to take this chance. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, is this gonna be enough to stop him from starving? Oh my goodness, he's on 6% health. He's on 4% health. Please digest your food quickly, bud. Anbu? Anbu? Hello? This is not great. Okay, his hunger's gone down. He's on 4% health. Oh my goodness, alright. Anbu doctor, now, please. We really need the doctor now as well, because goodness, all right, his hunger's going down. If we can get another one here, let's, let's, okay, there is, no, we don't have enough food yet, do we? I know he's starving, please. I, I'm trying to work on it, okay? Why is there not enough people? Oh, we're hiring a worker. All right, uh, somebody get off of uh, general workers, whatever. Just go to the on boob kitchen, please, now. I'm gonna... Shift some of you guys, one of you guys from harvesting to general, because I think that's going to be important. We've got people carrying this over. This may, we may be okay. We may be okay. This is about as close to brush of disaster as we can, we can get. Also, oh, Anbu. I don't know if he'll listen. Oh, Anbu. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's not good. We are right by food. All right, we need to we need to get this doctor now. If we get more food here as well, I will feed him again, but we really need the doctor first. Okay, well, the good news is we've got the doctor. The bad news is we need 40 herbs. Uh, we also are going to need to mind our own food soonish here. Uh, but that's not the most important thing. You know, I think I'm actually going to take a couple people off of research. I think I want other people doing other things right now. Let's make sure we're gonna put somebody at a berry collector. We're gonna put somebody here. We've got enough people here. We've got as many people as we can here. Is this... It's freezing. That's why the mushrooms are growing so slowly. Oh, goodness. All right. I'm gonna put... You can switch to carriers, and we're gonna have more people transport if we can. You know what? Never mind, then. Uh, where did the worker even go? We're making more Anbu food. All right. We should be alright. He's on 83. If we can feed him again, then at least he's not gonna be at risk of dying of hunger. We can stay here for a bit if we need to. Thank goodness there's no ground toxicity here. Uh, I probably need to make sure these guys continue to have stuff to harvest, though, because that's not gonna be the most ideal if they don't. 
All right, we're very close to having more on Boo food. He's at 84, and I don't know if 85 is when he starts taking damage, so this is going to be unreasonably close, perhaps. We're also stocking this with herbs slowly. We've got, I don't know how many herbs we have here. Um, but yeah, this is... Are you getting the food? Please bring the food. Yes, bring the food. Bring the food. We're so close. I know you're hungry, bud. We're, we're gonna make it. We're gonna figure out how to get through. Alright, please let me feed him. Feed the boy. Feed the boy. Hurry. <laughs> Hurry. Alright, we're gonna give him more food. We're gonna keep just hand feeding him until we get through because otherwise we're gonna be we're not gonna get out of this. If we don't if we don't feed him as quickly as we can here, we are not gonna get out of this. Okay. We've got his hunger down to a decent level. 65 is workable. He can eat when he gets up. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure we've got more people on herbs, I think. I'm gonna slow down the kitchen production because we have more people working. I don't think we need all the mycologists either. Things are just really slow right now. So, all right, let's put another person on berries. We're just gonna need to sit and wait and produce herbs and then uh, try to heal him when we get more. We need 18 more. Oh boy, he is not happy. He just caused a small earthquake that collapsed the herbalist. Oh, Han Boo. It's probably the worst thing you could have knocked down. We're so close. We just need 13 more herbs and then we can heal you. Can we at least pet him? I think we do have the pet. Yes. Let's, let's at least try to comfort him as best we can. I think we can still pull out of this, but man, is it going to be close. Oh, we got more settlers. That's good for us. We got a hungry person. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, let's put somebody else on general workers. I'm still out scavenging where I can. I guess we'll go get some more rocks. Uh, yeah, as long as we're staying here, we may as well. Oh, Anbu, I'm sorry, buddy. Just don't knock down the herbalist again. Okay, the hornblower's fine. We don't need the hornblower right now. We don't have any more food we can give you. 29 of 40, and the herbalist is back up, so that's good. We have 115 water, thank goodness. If we didn't have water right now, we'd just be done for. Wait, 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 the cure only takes 30. Okay, we can cure, we can cure. All right, please. This will restore 20% of his health. I think that'll be enough to get him to move forward and be able to eat, and that should be fine. Oh my goodness. Has this saved us? Has this saved us? Are we gonna be okay? We might be okay now. We may actually be okay now. All right. 90% just about. How much is this gonna cure? Is this enough for him to get up? It's enough for him to get up! Oh, buddy, you're okay. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness you're all right. I mean, all right is stretching it. You're on 24% health, but it's a lot better than frickin' four. And there's at least enough food up here for you to eat. Now, I don't really want you going in that cold snap just yet. But I think we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna feed him again. I know we're about to come to a food place here. But we are making food at a decent amount, and he's so upset right now. Understandably so, that was an experience that I would also not like to repeat. Uh, but I, I want him to know that we're going to take care of him now that we have the ability to do so. I would also like for him to stop knocking down buildings, particularly the herbalist, because if he does that, we're not going to be able to cure him. So let's, let's make sure that we feed him as much as we're able to, even if he's going to get the chance to stop and munch up here. Oh, good, we've got food. Please eat as much as you can. Eat your fill, because goodness gracious, you this that was way too close for comfort. I, I think one or two more damage ticks and he would have just died. Oh my goodness. I haven't even checked the map recently. What's happening here? We've got no- oh, we've got poison nomads up ahead. All right, we probably need to get our own village doctor running too then. We're very close to it. We just need some more wood, so... Wait, we've got people gathering it. We don't need to rush that. That'll be fine, I think. The bad thing is we're going into a cold snap, and I think that's going to completely halt crop growth. Yep, I hope most of these grow before we get into it too much, because this is not going to be great. We've got a few that are fully grown. Will more of them grow before, before it fully hits? 
Oh, please. No, okay. Did that one fully grow? I don't know. Oh, no, I don't think it did. That's unfortunate. Also, I need to make sure that we're attending to our own needs as well. Uh, let's get somebody else on berry gathering. We don't have somebody else to put on berry gathering. All right, somebody can move off general. That'll be fine for now. We've got our village doctor, so I'm going to move someone off of general here. Uh, and probably somebody off of carriers as well. Because I don't think we're going to have quite as much need for that. But we are coming up on these poisoned nomads. Also, I think we can pet Anbu again in 20 seconds here. So we are absolutely going to do that. Because, oh my goodness, our poor boy, he looks so miserable. And I want to help him as best we can until we get more herbs. We're on 11 of 30 and things are still frozen. So that's going to be a bit... Okay, I think ideally Anbu goes south here while we do have a heat wave. I'm still hoping we'll hit these nomads. I don't know if we actually will or not, but I have sent my scout party to the poison forest as well because you often can get herbs or mushrooms there, and either of those would be very good at mean that we can either feed this boy or get him some healing. And that, I think, is going to be ideal. I am going to actually put in a sawmill as well on a totally different note, because we have unlocked that now, and we should start trying to actually up our lumber production a little bit more. Do we actually? We do have some of the big rocks. Uh, we can, uh, when we get our um, quarry as well, we can use that. Okay, we brought back some mushrooms, so at least we should be able to make him some more food. We don't have... Yeah, I'll turn off this compost heap for now because we haven't put in the dung collector yet, but we should do that because if we hit a jungle at this point, that could be iffy. Uh, we want to be real careful with that. In fact, I think we will put in the dung collector. Just stick it right up here. May as well do that. And whenever they finish that, that'll be good. That can start collecting. We'll eventually expand out that way, I'm sure. Eventually. Man, this is not a great route. We've got two heat waves, a short heat wave and a normal heat wave. Gosh, I think this is a normal cold snap that we just went through too because regrettably our herbs are still freezing, which is not great because we also have people who are poisoned. Uh, apparently one of our doctors is badly poisoned. I think four of them. Yeah, that's really not ideal because we have to heal them as well now too. Oh good, it looks like Anbu's gonna rest. Unfortunately, we did lose two of our, our villagers to poison as well. But now that we're finally out of that cold snap, it's not growing well, but our herbs are at least growing again. And I think Anbu might heal while he sleeps here. I don't- maybe that's only when his health is high enough, but I swear I have seen him heal before. So maybe he'll recover some health. We can hope. Yes, look at he's up to up to 25 here, so I think if he sleeps here, he'll at least recover somewhat. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, he's up to 27. Good, good. Y'all, I think we might pull out of this. We also got some herbs in the scavenger hunt. It, we did have two people get poisoned. I think they were already poisoned. But now hopefully we'll at least have enough for the doctors to work, or starting to get to enough for the doctors to work. Okay, Anbu's at least healed to 31%. That's better than nothing. We are on the move again, but our herbs are growing... kind of... slowly. As long as they grow before we get too far into this heat wave, we should be fine. Oh, Anbu, please. Anbu, please. Anbu, please, for the love of all that's good. I'm making you to go south right now. Oh, please go south right now. I just started to set up the decontaminator and we've not got much biogas. We are going to die if we go in there. At least going south would buy us a little bit more time. Anbu, please. None of us are in a position to handle this right now. Please go south. If I, I can't cure you yet... We have very nearly enough, but not quite, and we are once again in a, in a, a heat wave, so that's real fine and dandy. Oh, boy. No, no. Oh, this might be doom. Please don't tell me we've come all this way just to fail now. Oh, mercy, there's a second one. It's just a normal one. 
I think I'm going to have to ask Anbu to lay down right at the edge here because I, even though it's going to be more poisonous, we have the doctor now. If we can get, and if we can get the herb production up, because right now it's too hot. If we can get the herb production up, then we might be okay, provided Anbu listens to us at all when we ask him to lie down, which he may not, because, yeah, that would be the way of things, wouldn't it? We've barely made any biogas either. In fact, I don't really think we have. That's fine. This is fine. All right. I'm sure this couldn't possibly go wrong. Oh, goodness. All right, we've entered the jungle. You can already see. Oh, Anbu. Anbu. We have to stop. You'll kill us all. We've got to stop. No, there's no getting around this. We're gonna have to make do with what we have, all right. I don't even have the decontaminator. To okay, the decontaminator needs to be done right now. Um, mm -hmm. The decontaminator needs to be done right now. I'm gonna start closing non-essential things. This is essential. Herb production, I think, is still gonna be really important. We're gonna close the horn blower because he's not listening to us anyway. We don't need to make Anbu food right now. We just need to hurry and deal with this before we all die. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, this is real bad. We're not even done with this. All right, uh, if I... Okay, we don't have the people for it. Never mind. All right, we've made it through. I hope Anbu will rest here. He may not. Uh, we need our decontaminator running. It's finally being worked on. All right, you I'm switching from carriers to harvesters. We'll keep someone on general workers. Uh, we do not have enough herbs to heal Anbu. We need to continue producing biogas. I might pull somebody off of our weakest um, berry bushes here. Well, we can at least heal Anbu. We're gonna do that. We're into another poison storm. Oh, good gracious. He's gonna- Oh, Anbu, don't lay down in the storm. Please don't lay down in the storm. Oh, no. Get me out of this jungle. This is not good. We've got nomads. Alright, uh, I guess we'll keep sending the scavengers out. Anbu! Anbu, are you kidding me? Our horn blow is down. We need to bring the horn blower back. Somebody needs somebody needs to go to the horn blower. I'm gonna reduce the herb production for a hot second. I'm gonna reduce the decontaminator for a second because there's not enough staff for it anyway. Alright. Um Anbu. 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 Please. This is not going to go well. Oh, this is not going to go well. Um, I'm going to pet him in hopes that that will help him listen. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, that's really not good. Really not good. This is definitely one of the worst things that could have happened here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna start pulling people off of food a little bit. Um, mm hmm. Yeah, this is. This is. Okay, what is happening? Um. Gonna scavenge for resources. Somebody got poisoned. That's not particularly something that matters at this present time. Uh, you know, there. There could be. Could be worse situations. Uh, maybe not than the one that we're in. Anbu, please, for the love of all that's good, I'm begging you to get up. Oh, this is really not ideal. At least we've got a lot of herbs. They're just decomposing here. They are they really are just all decomposing. This is fine. He's up. Oh my goodness, Anbu, please. We need to go. We need to get out of here. He's at least not super tired anymore. If we can get out of here, then at least we've got a chance. 
We need to start, okay. All right. Uh, I don't know though, the problem is I don't know if we can produce uh, uh, dung fast enough to deal with this, but if we can get out, at least we won't be gathering new plants as quickly, except for the ones that are spreading horrendously. Well, the first of our workers are starting to die of poison. That's fine and dandy. At this point, I'd rather take the desert. Uh, at this point, I would rather deal with the desert, although I... Mm, I don't know if we should. Maybe we should go... Okay, Ambu doesn't trust us. I said south because I realized he could heal here. Uh, how are we doing on our herbs? Probably not great. That's going to be the bottleneck here. We've got six badly poisoned and ten poisoned. We are definitely going to lose some people here. Maybe it's not too late. There's another giant storm. Or another large one. Or something that is not good down there. Oh, we need Anbu to go north. We desperately need Anbu to go north. Buddy, please, it's our only chance. We can't have him this far just to lose now. Come on. Anbu! I'm going to ask Anbu to sleep here because... Quite frankly, unless we get a breather of some sort, I don't think any of us are going to stand much chance. Oh, he looks so sad, the poor guy. I hope he listens. He doesn't trust us. Maybe he'll decide on his own. I think he still is going to rest. Okay. Thank goodness. Things are not looking great. I mean, Anbu's not dying actively anymore. We're getting some knowledge at a shrine. We might be able to get some more settlers, but... Oh, you guys, I don't know if this is going to be recoverable or not. Truly, I don't. I think the number of people who are poisoned might be going down, though. We've got one badly poisoned and seven poisoned, but at least this will give us a chance to work on it. Is our storage full? Yes. Anbu's gonna sleep. And unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to leave us here. We'll be back for another episode. Possibly a really short one, depending on how this goes. But, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. You made it farther than I was afraid I was going to, but things are still very rough, even though we may still be alive for now. So we'll leave this off here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.